I remember the first time I learned about lobotomies in medical school. It was, well, a bit of a shock. You know, as doctors, we're trained to help people, to heal. But the lobotomy? It's a procedure that once promised to revolutionize psychiatry and ended up as a cautionary tale. Today we're going to dive into this fascinating albeit dark chapter of medical history. Um, buckle up, it's going to be quite a ride. So it's the 1930s and psychiatry is in crisis. Overcrowded asylums, limited treatments, desperate patients. Enter Agus Moniz, a Portuguese neurologist with a radical idea. Cut out the part of the brain causing problems. Specifically, he targeted the frontal lobes, you know, the bits responsible for personality, decision-making, emotional regulation, all those things that make us, us. Moniz theorized that by severing connections to this area, he could alleviate symptoms of mental illness. And initially it seemed to work. Patients became calmer, less agitated. But as we'll see, the cost was far greater than anyone realized. Now let me paint you a picture of the procedure. The original method involved drilling holes in the skull and injecting alcohol to destroy brain tissue. But it was Walter Freeman who really, um, refined the technique. He developed the transorbital lobotomy, colloquially known as the ice pick lobotomy. And yes, it's as crude as it sounds. Freeman would insert a leukotome, essentially a long, thin metal spike, through the patient's eye socket just above the eyeball. With a few quick motions, he'd sever the connections to the prefrontal cortex. The whole thing took about 10 minutes and could be done without anesthesia. As lobotomies became more widespread, the horrific side effects became impossible to ignore. Patients were left with severe personality changes, emotional blunting, cognitive impairments, some even died. The development of antipsychotic medications in the 1950s thankfully led to the decline of lobotomies. But the legacy of this procedure is a crucial lesson in medical ethics. It underscores the need for informed consent, rigorous scientific testing and always considering the long-term consequences of our treatments. As doctors, our primary duty is to, first, do no harm. And the history of lobotomy is a powerful reminder of why that principle is so fundamental. The rise and fall of the lobotomy is a chapter in medical history that's both fascinating and deeply troubling but it's also led to crucial advancements in how we approach mental health treatment and medical ethics. Remember, if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues, there are now many safe, effective treatments available. Always consult with qualified healthcare professionals. Stay curious, but also stay skeptical. It's how we move medicine forward. 